Hello YouTube. Can we talk? We have time. I don't have to leave till noon and it's just about 9.30 right now. You know, this week I have a birthday coming up. It's uh, January 12th. It's Thursday. Today is Sunday. It's cold today. It's like uh, 30 degrees. It was 28 when I woke up this morning at 6. That's brutal for New Orleans where I live. Now, I was born in Dallas, Texas. 1973 so that'll make me 44 years old this Thursday I was born on a, a dreary day it was a uh, cold outside there's a bit of a storm but it wasn't snowing but it, it was miserable I'm, I've been told I was there but I don't remember I didn't get a chance to look at the weather that day I was a c-section baby too I, I remember uh, my mother saying when she was sitting in there you know, she was in the bed, so she was probably laying down, but she was in there before they got me out with another lady whose husband brought fried chicken. I'm not planning on having fried chicken. Well, I don't know. Special someone in my life is cooking some kind of surprise for me. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably not fried chicken. It's probably something, a little something else. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it, though. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about me, because my birthday is coming up, you know, I'm getting a little nostalgic, I'm remembering stuff. Yeah, so I did grow up in Dallas. Mostly, I grew up in Cedar Hill, Texas, which is the highest point of elevation in Dallas County. It's South Dallas County. County line's not much further south from there. Cedar Hill is where all the... Uh, TV antennas and radio antennas were, so I kind of grew up underneath antennas. We had really bad reception there. You know, that's usually the case back then. Before we streamed everything, before all that good stuff. So, yep, my family, originally the Hood family, I take you after the Hood side of my family, and it's my last name, and it's a big part of my life. There's another side, it's a uh, Macquarie, but both sides are Scottish. Both sides are Scottish, but on my side there's a, a good bit of Cherokee that is proven, but on the other side it's just hearsay, because there was a, a good bit of time spent in Oklahoma, and that's where we, we uh, got that. But originally my family, the Hood family, came from uh, West Tennessee, just above Memphis. There was a, it's now a prison town on the river. Uh, <clears throat> George, my great grandfather, brought the family from there to Dallas to, you know, for a better life. My grandfather, Thomas Burlinhood, had already been born. So he was actually born in Tennessee and he is the first cousin of Carl Perkins. Do you know who that is? Well, look it up. You should know, but I, I won't hold it against you if you don't. So that'd make me the third cousin and my father the second. My father is Monty. You know, a lot of M's. Monty, Mark. But I'm the only Mark Allen Hood and I'm the only M Hood fishing. I should be. I hope to goodness that I am. I'm sure there's some uh, people out there that want to be me, but uh, I'd say good luck. It's not easy being me. It's not extremely hard being me, but there is only one me. And that's a good thing. There's only one you, too. But there's a lot of doppelgangers out there in the world, and there's a lot of people who will try to copy, and you should never try to copy anyone. Just be yourself. As far as, like, you people that ask me, like, for tips and advice about how to get your channel going, do your own thing and learn as you go. In the future, I, I will make videos specifically about that, but you know, my father's a big fan of my channel, by the way. And my mother just discovered my channel, and she likes it. She loves watching me fish. She used to fish with me a lot. Like I said, I'm feeling nostalgic. I, I taught my mother how to fish. My father taught me a lot about fishing, but there was a time when the Rubicon was passed, but he is the first person I ever jigged for crappie with. Now, my great-grandfather built the family home in Cedar Hill. And 
Tom, my grandfather, Thomas Berlin Hood, at some point maintained it, but he did go to, uh, during the Great Depression, he went to Oklahoma to become a, a well, to get work. He was in law enforcement. He was a sheriff's deputy there in Oklahoma. I can't remember the town, but my father was born there in Oklahoma. But my grandmother, who is from Oklahoma, she met my grandfather in Texas. And then through her family is how he got the uh, law enforcement job there in Oklahoma and my grandmother is where I get my Cherokee from she was half her mother was full and it was through her mother and her father that my grandfather Thomas Berlin Hood got that law enforcement job in Oklahoma Hobart County I just remembered it I'm getting old I'll be 44 I hope I can improve my memory but there's other things I want to improve <sighs> I'm gonna be 44 years old so he eventually came back to the uh, the family house and he maintained that he did go back to Oklahoma for a bit but it was because of a, a new sheriff when he, when he came back from back to Texas from Oklahoma, he was still in law enforcement. He had had a long career in law enforcement, but mostly in sheriff's departments. He did become a jailer later in life, but he was still in the sheriff department. Sheriffs take care of that. It was a county jail. He eventually retired from law enforcement. There's also a lot of uh, firemen, you know, in my family in on the hood side. It's a, a mix of uh, sheriff's department and fire department. I'd have to say more fire department, fire marshals and, and that like, you know, career firemen. They started out fighting fires and just went up in the ranks. I never uh, took on those footsteps. My father made me promise for some reason when I was young to never uh, pursue law enforcement. So I pursued fishing instead. There's Jack. Some of you have been wanting me to talk a bit about myself, so I hope uh, hope this video is interesting. It's kind of a vloggy video. Of course it's a vloggy video. Uh, the coffee is wearing off. So, what am I going to do for my birthday this year? Now, years past, I used to have like a, a ritual, you know. I, I would go out to a movie and I would go to a, a favorite diner or something to have a hamburger. That was when I was single. I, I'm kind of kind of not single right now. So I'm not going to be doing that. I have jury duty for half the day on my birthday. So that's what I'm doing. Maybe I'll try to get some fishing in. Fishing is like a big deal these days for my birthday. I love to go catch fish on my birthday. And I, I like, you know, to eat something good. So I'm definitely going to try, but we'll see what happens. Might not be able to get out to fish. The weather might be okay this Thursday. It's not okay right now. It, it's been freezing for the past two days. And it'll, it'll get up to 46 today, which will feel like frisbee weather. And then tomorrow it will be in the 60s, and then, then Tuesday 76. But we'll have some wind. It'll still be the wind will still be up. But by the end of this week, probably be uh, okay. By Thursday and Friday, I might go out jigging for some uh, sockele, some crappie. I might. I'm gonna hit something local because half my day is gonna be killed by jury duty, and and then I, I'm gonna go get surprised by a, a home-cooked meal so if you want to uh, give us a, a gift for the birthday you can click right up here donations go a long way to the future of this channel because there's a lot of big things I want to do and 
A little bit of help is definitely appreciative. Well, I'm going to stop yammering. I'm going to pet this cat for a little bit. I'm going to have to say see you next time. Got to go do some work now.